Hey everyone, so 2023 is a thing of the past now. We're moving on to 2024 with Awakening Chaos Era, and we're coming up on the two-year anniversary here in three days of this recording. I still don't know anything about the two-year anniversary. Um, I got trolled last night by one of the community managers when asking for information, and uh, they gave me a picture of a banner around <laughs> around your avatar. They found that funny. I didn't, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> So uh, today, I'm talking about things that I would like to see done to Ace in 2024. Now, quick recap. 2023 was pretty interesting. They had a lot of new things introduced, so you got to give props where props are due. Uh, They introduced new dungeons. I I understand, well, new levels to dungeons which introduced new gear sets. I know some people are not happy with this. Uh, I always like new challenges. I understand that some of the uh, dungeons are gated by heroes and that's never good. Uh, But the fact that they introduced the new content was something nice. From a void tower perspective, you know, they introduced a hero that allows us to farm mythic, which gets us a free legendary you know, each month, which is awesome. And they introduced these Void Tower bosses that give you a lot of shards. It gives you a lot of legendary books. So that was another great change. They introduced Rift of Chaos, which started off pretty bumpy, uh, to be honest. But uh, it's coming to its own. I think, you know, it's definitely more accessible for people. Um, It's easier for people to kind of farm it now. Uh, So that was also something nice. Uh, On top of that, I think one of the changes that I've liked a lot is the carryover of this uh, pity system. So they introduced these new heroes in the limited summons. And before, if you pulled three legendaries and you didn't get the two legendary before, you would get the third one on the guarantee pull. But this was very expensive. But they recently made that change where if you didn't pull the hero, uh, it would still count towards your pity, even if the limited summon, you know, this one ends in nine days, uh, will carry over into the next one. So then you only need to pull two legendaries uh, to be guaranteed the new hero. So I thought that was a great change. I also think that this sacred summon was a great change. Now, the currency involved with it, I think, is w- way too rare, and they need to increase that. And it's going to be one of the topics that I bring up today. But this actual stone or this summon portal is good. You know, being able to have higher chances at legendary uh, or epic LDs are really nice. You know, this is a good change. It's just the stones themselves need to be more accessible uh, instead of just gated by dollars right but that was a good change uh, on top of that that they also increased uh the rewards for guild versus environment which i think has been a really nice change so more legendary books are available in here and then also as well uh, you have the ability to get some of these stones and these tokens which was a new market uh shop purchase that was added that allows you to get even more of these stones or books. So nice changes, you know, guild versus guild. This is something that I also think got off to a little rocky start and it isn't perfect in any way, but uh, it does add something else to do, something for you to do with your guild members. And whenever they introduce this band uh, list, I actually really like this. I thought it was a really cool way to keep things fresh. So, um, yeah, you just got to look back and, you know, I know sometimes it's frustrating, this game and the devs, and it feels like sometimes uh, they're not listening or don't care. But whenever they introduce new things like that, even if it's implemented, you know, not in the way that we imagine, it does go to show that there are things progressing in the game. So uh, I do just want to, shine some light on that but without further ado what i would really like to see in 2024 i broke it up into a couple categories the first one i think is just pretty easy stuff that can be achieved because most of it is 
either resetting something or just building off of things that are already in the game. Uh, then I have uh, things that are probably a little more unlikely, uh, but definitely possible because the infrastructure is there. And then the final section is, you know, a wish list that I don't think will ever happen, but I'd really, really like to see it uh, implemented. So uh, you got to dream sometimes, right? So the first thing is this bounty hunt. So I don't even want them to add anything. I just want them to reset it, you know, reset the bounty hunt for, you know, the players that have played the game and supported the company for almost two years, right? And just refresh the rewards. They have all the code in here. All you have to do is hit the reset button. The ability to get another Ascension potion in here for an LD is amazing. So many people I think would be happy with this just resetting. It doesn't even need to be new and they would be extremely happy. Uh, on top of that, this challenge, uh, uh, these challenge quests, these were great when they implemented them. I would love to see this come back. Even if it refreshed, you know, I'd like to see them updated. But if they just refreshed it, I'd be perfectly fine with one caveat. One, they replaced this brand with those hero matrix selectors, but with 100 of them. So once you get to that 250, you get to pick whatever hero you want, any RGB hero. I think that would be a fantastic prize and a nice... Uh, replacement for brand at the time brand i think was pretty good and he's still relevant in rift of chaos but i think it's time to update that and just let someone pick you know an rgb because for the people who have played for a long time i think we all know that one copy of something in this game really doesn't matter you need multiple copies so what's you know one selector of any hero that someone wants you know what i mean um, and then at the 370, they need to replace Orion with an LD Ascension Potion. I think that would be fantastic. Um, you know, get him out of here. He's not a good LD, even after his buff. Um, so if those two changes were implemented and all they did was reset this, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. And again, they have the code. They have all of those things already in the game. They just need to replace Brand and Orion with the stuff they already have. And it's amazing, you know? Um, next is the market. You know, they need to update this. There's really nothing in here worth buying other than the summon crystals. You know, they've added a couple things into uh, the guild shop, like, you know, these uh, matrixes for newer heroes, which, you know, granted, the heroes that they put in here at the epic level aren't bad, but once you get past this, the only thing worth grabbing is this... Uh, Awakening Soul Arcana, which is way overpriced, and the Summon Crystals. In the Arena Shop, Abaddon, and then also the Summon Crystals, and then the Soul Arcana, which resets every like 60 days. This Glory Shop, yes, these things are nice, but there's not enough of them. You need more Dawn Fragments available, you need more Legendary Books available. On top of that, they really need to add more Ascension Pots. It can't just be in Arena. If they don't want to add a full as Ascension pot, they can put fragments in there, you know, to go with the Storm Duel uh, rewards that are also not very good. But if they added that and then also more book pages in some of these areas, it incentivizes us to grind the game more and play the game more. So I don't know why they won't make those changes, but it it's, it's something that can easily be done. Other updates that they need to do to the rewards is events and rallies. So like getting two of the high end elemental crystals <laughs> is, is so bad. Why is this even here? Same thing with a rare book. The rare book should be down here for new players on the thousand point mark to let them progress. This needs to be down here. I have zero idea why it's the end uh, reward. These things need to be replaced. This obsidian, this rare book, and this jelly. If anything, what they should do is put more gold up here, like 200,000 gold, right? Uh, 200,000 XP, 200,000 or 300,000 gold. So you're almost getting a million gold for, for your uh, events. 
gold and jelly has been something that's been capped for me personally. Um, that might be because I'm a content creator, at least from the jelly side, like building heroes and stuff. But at least I know gold is usually a, you know, some kind of gap for the end game players and upgrading gear. So that really needs to be changed on that end. I'd love to see other things in there, but I just don't think it's reasonable, like ascension potion uh, fragments and things like that. But it won't happen. Um, same thing with you know the rallies. This forge material stuff. This, this is completely worthless. Give us more gold. Give us more jelly. You know, give us things that actually matter in here. Maybe even energy for Rift of Chaos. Like, things like that. You have to get rid of stuff that completely has no relevance. That stuff means absolutely nothing to me. And I'm pretty sure it means absolutely nothing to the rest of the player base. All right. Uh, moving on to Storm Duel. Whoops. So Storm Duel is, man, I've stopped doing Storm Duel. The, the rewards are definitely not worth it. It goes back to the Forge material stuff. This stuff is just worthless. I think the Forge has, is a failure. I don't like it. And then at the end, all you get is 10 fragments of a, of a pot. So that takes you, <laughs> it takes you two and a half months to get a pot. It's that's nuts. This should be 25. If this was 25, maybe I would do it, you know, so you can get a, uh, another free pot a month. But even then, I don't know. The biggest change that needs to be done, and this is like one of the most asked things in Discord, is to update the amount of teams available to you from 10 to 20 or even 30. Um, if they don't do that, they need to stop with this two of two. Like this needs to go over every eight hours. If you didn't use this hero, it should go above two. It should be three out of two or four out of two. It should just keep climbing. So you don't have to waste your weekend playing Storm Duel. You know, you have to specifically uh, time your, stu your Storm Duel runs. You need to be on every eight hours or every 16 hours to make sure that the team's uh, are reset like right on time so you have enough time to actually get to this million points so they need to change two of those two things right the 20 teams or just stack the attacks and then they need to update the rewards this needs at a minimum need to be 25 and i think they should add some epic you know fragment uh, pots in there too just for like the newer players maybe put that at the eight eight points mark like the 150,000 10 fragments there or 25 fragments I mean that it would just really help new players that's another thing that I've noticed you know as I'm going through my list is it's just so hard for new players to progress and get to an end game whenever all of the important items are kind of gated uh, you know to the end game so that's that's not good moving on again this is this is just easy things right this guild boss guild boss needs <laughs> needs to be updated it is monday and i've already beaten the weekly tier on two runs they need to add more rewards here they also need to update the rewards again this is all garbage like getting one piece of gear for the very last prize for for guild boss is is a joke this this definitely needs to be updated and then also the rewards that you get as a team like look at this two million <laughs> we're 21 billion <laughs> it's just uh like it, this needs to be updated they it just goes to show how many broken heroes they've introduced like it, it just shattered what they thought was hard <laughs> uh on top of that like the rewards here also not good like a three star potion you know three three star chicken or foodie or whatever it was like come on three charms we just beat the very like the end goal of what your guild's supposed to do and it crushed it but i just yeah, why, why is why are we getting rewards like that? That it makes no sense. Uh, so yeah, uh, they definitely need to change that. 
And then also on the quest side, like going back to this, this stuff is just, this is garbage. It's, it's pure garbage. They need to update it. Get this storm, storm badge out of there. Make these fragments here. Like you, you should be able to get a, a badge every two weeks, I think. Every two weeks or every three weeks, you know, not every five. Uh, and make things more accessible, you know, for the players instead of just having everything gated. I, I really think that they took the monetization side um, a little too far. <laughs> Um, introducing these badges, like badge uh, matrixes in here, are, is a good thing, but the rest of the rewards are bad and it's not enough. They need like three in here, like three per week or something like that. Same thing with the advanced quests. This stuff, uh, again, we just keep coming back to forge items. The forge stuff is worthless. What I would do if I were them is I would just take the 800 and the 1200, which, you know, these are okay rewards, shift those down. So the 800 is the first reward and then the 1200 is the second. This, this goes away. The legendary book is the third reward. And then here you get like, I don't know, 20, 20 of the, uh, LD summon crystals and at the end you get another Lego book you know this is this takes a month this takes a month to do so it's I don't know they, they it's just simple simple little updates you know okay two more things that I think are actually pretty easy to do um, this this dungeon stuff um, so when you click on this dungeon, sometimes there's a jelly dungeon and a gold dungeon, but they appear sporadically. I think they should just be up all the time. You should just be able to farm jelly and gold, you know, whenever you want, you know, because it costs energy anyway. They also need to have those as uh, multi-battles so you can farm them throughout the day. I think that would just be a huge win, you know, to the community. I don't know why they don't do it. You know, it still costs the energy. It's not free. Um, so having it open all the time, I don't think would hurt, you know, the company's analytics at all. And then the gear sets. So they introduced the new levels, but they gated the new gear sets to levels 17 through 20. I don't know why they did that. Uh, they should just put these new gear sets in all of the levels. Uh, that would be a really simple change. It'd be really nice for, you know, the newer players as well. You know, especially like these elemental sets. They would really help with progression for the first three dungeons for newer players. Um, and then it would also help, you know, even progressing in the Witch and Gemini if you're able to farm lower levels of Gemini to eventually help you get enough resonance set to possibly help you in the higher stages of Gemini Dragon. So those are all the easy wins. I think that could be done for 2024. A lot of it is quality of life. A lot of it is just updating the game rewards and, uh, you know, things that you can trade currency for to align with what you actually need in the game as of 2024. Now, some of this stuff that I'd like to see them work on is a lot of guild boss uh, or just guild related content. So I really like, I, I would really like to see this guild boss revamped. It's, it's very clear that this guild boss has been figured out, right? <laughs> There's no mystery to this. It's, Hey, have these heroes, have Maeve, have a five Aaron with Ackerley. You're gonna, you're gonna crush it. You know, have twins like, look, twitchy, twitchy doesn't even have, <laughs> team b he just he just does his team a run because it gets him enough <laughs> oh, that's funny so yeah they they need to come up with some new mechanics on this boss they need to go back to the old uh guild boss kind of rotation which i think you know uh shook it up a little bit for those of you who weren't around back then the uh, guild boss didn't used to be light he used to rotate uh, it used to be earth, fire, and water, which was kind of cool. So, you, you know, you would need specific uh, positive element heroes to go up against the guild boss. Maybe if they bring a version of that back, uh, that would be really cool. 
I'd really like to see them update Guild vs. Environment as well. I mean, we've been stuck with the same ancient tiles, ancient relics, mini bosses, main boss for over a year now. And it is just so stale. Like, you need four or five specific heroes and you can progress pretty well in that. And if you don't, uh, then you're really not going anywhere. So I'd really like them to see, cha I'd really like to see some changes made to that as well and i'd like to see one new uh version of guild content uh, available i'd really like to see them uh reduce the time on ruin of the gods and guild war to like 10 days each and include another guild related uh event that's 10 days as well i'd like it to be a little more coordinated you know uh, similar to what guild versus environment is but maybe with some real-time applications that'd be kind of cool uh, I don't know if it's possible, but like I said, this one, this list is not, uh, you know, an easy win. I think it's just something where some effort needs to be put into it, and uh, it might take, you know, a couple months. But yeah, that's that's that. So last but not least is the wish list stuff, right? And very first wish list is RTA. I would love to see them put in. A red green blue only RTA like I I play RTA a lot I find it fun but I really hate just playing all LD heroes even when I use LDs I don't enjoy them you know I'd much rather use heroes like Naya or Balbareth you know those heroes are fun uh, the LDs especially whenever they're ascended to like a2 a3 a4 uh, they're just they're so brain dead I I know a lot of people agree with me on this one, and I'm probably preaching the choir, but I'd really like to see a red, green, blue uh, RTA only, or I'd like to see them implement a ban list similar to what they do in Guild vs. Guild, you know, weekly, just to keep it fresh. I think that'd be really cool, um, and you, I think you'd be able to, you know, play against some different people because I think other people would rise to the occasion if, you know, three specific LDs were banned. And I think they should only ban LDs on this list. You know, they should never ban RGBs. That would be just stupid. But that's definitely something that I would like. And then also, <clears throat> once you've completed your challenges here, I would love for them to, like, implement a, a reason for people to just continue playing RTA. I know some people will never do it. They'll just get their 20 wins and they'll get out of there. But if there were rewards for unlimited effort like every time you played a match if you lost you would get 10 energy but if you won you would get 30 energy like each match i think it would be a great way to farm energy on top of that if they introduce charms right maybe purple charms uh for a loss and then a gold charm for a win this would really help new players be able to uh, get some of those items that will really help progress their account in leveling up gear and getting more bread, you know, to farm dungeons or whatever. So I'd really like to see that. Um, and then last but not least is something that everyone has wanted forever, <laughs> basically. And that is a hero recall once a month on any hero. <clears throat> One of the biggest issues with this game hands down is if you pull a new hero it doesn't matter you can't use that hero until you either have 15 books in them to make them viable in either dungeons guild versus environment rta arena or if they're ascension 5 or ascension 2 or 3 and that is just a huge bummer where You've put in so many resources into so many heroes that are just worthless now. And they've, you know, their time has passed, right? They might have been worth the books back then. And it's just no, there's no reason to use them anymore. The game needs to realize that they need to give those resources back once a month. It can even cost resources. I know people think that it should be free. I do too, but I just don't think the company would ever do that. I don't think it, they would ever do that. But if it costs you something, like gems, if it costs you gems, you could save up and you could do the risk-reward of either 
you know, spending your gems on a hero recall or spending your gems on energy or summons or whatever. But if they implemented that for 5,000 gems or 10,000 gems, I don't, I don't even care. Like, it would be worth it just because the pots and the books are that rare. So that is my last wish list thing, guys. That's what I'm hoping to see in 2024. Um, let me know what you guys are looking for. Uh, I know uh, these videos are always <laughs> like uh, duh moments, but yes, uh, they are things that I'd like to see, and I think a lot of them are really easily accomplishable. And I think it would go a long way to helping the game, you know, generate more revenue, bring in new players, and that's what we all want because we want the game to keep going. So that's all I got. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.